most beneficent and most beneficent we are asking for the sake of Sayyidina Muhammad peace be upon him from our Lord Almighty Allah to grant us during this holy month, holy Ramadan, from knowledge and wisdoms which may lead us to His Divine Presence. And I am asking first forgiveness for my Lord Almighty Allah because forgiveness is the reason of purity. Without asking forgiveness, you can't be a pure person or pure heart person. And if no purity through our hearts it is prohibited to be sent from heavens to our hearts divinely wisdoms and knowledge because everyone knowing that if a pot is not clean nothing can be put in it and from our bodies only our hearts may be in connection through heavens and therefore it is important for everyone who asking to reach heavens and to have a 
connection with heavenly beings and heavens to make his heart pure. And to ask forgiveness, it is for everyone. Even prophets asking forgiveness. And you see all prophets, Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, peace be upon him, he was saying, I am also daily asking 70 times forgiveness from my Lord Almighty Allah. If he is asking, what about for others, for ourselves? We must ask also at least 70 times. Even he may be in need 70,000, but 70 times as a follower of the seal of prophets, we must say it, we must ask, O oh, our Lord, forgives us, forgive us. And forgiveness, living to come divinely lights through our hearts. And when your heart going to be lightened, Then harmful and bad characteristics must leave your heart. And when your heart is going to be lightened and reach to peace, you should find satisfaction and confidence through yourself until you are finding that confidence never settling real faith through your heart and if not settling real faith through your heart, never getting your organs loyal to their Lord Almighty Allah, to be His Almighty's loyal servants. And if you are not going to be loyal servants, to your Lord Almighty Allah, difficulties and darkness and miseries and sufferings should run after you and should cover around yourself as silk, uh, what is that? Coco? Coco? Uh, inside it's warm, going to be in prison. That person going to be through that darkness and sadness and miseries and difficulties should cover him. 
from everywhere. That is the biggest problem for mankind that waiting a solution in our days. Because now whole mankind they are not happy and they are not in confidence, they are not in peace. And we are asking from Allah Almighty to make it easy for us to reach even some purity through whole uh, Ramadan, holy Ramadan, if we can reach even to some purity through our hearts, it should be a big grant from our Lord Almighty Allah. Because if a person imprisoned in a room without a window, even without a hole, it is too difficult. If he can find a, even a hole, may look outside. It should be a pleasure for himself. And even if we can reach through this holy Ramadan, some purity should give us a uh, satisfaction and pleasure so that we may hope that whole may be bigger and bigger so that we can be uh, get out from that bad conditions to the light of divinely presence Everyone that I am looking from men or women just in prison and it is well read for us through their faces. Very few people that you may find through their faces a light and pleasure. All of them. <laughs> Too much serious sadness covering faces. And we hope that Allah Almighty takes away from ourselves that sadness and darkness <coughs> during Holy Ramadan. And we hope inspirations from the seal of Prophets, Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and through our Grand Sheikh, Allah blessings him. And we are asking blessings for every day and night. And you must try to reach that blessings from God Almighty Allah during Holy Ramadan, day and night. That is a, like a 
introduction for our uh, associations. I don't like to say for these meetings, lectures, because lecturers through universities you can find. It is a humble meeting and we are humble people, inshallah, we are trying to be humble. We are trying to take away our uh, mm, pride, that uh, pride, but our uh, temporary titles. Because everyone carries some temporary titles through so this life. And when you are going to be present here, if we may put our temporary titles down to be more humble, that destroying and killing pride, that pride harming people more than any other bad characteristic. It should be easy for me to uh, translate from uh, heavenly knowledge to your hearts. It is important to reach people's hearts, not to reach to their ears. Everyone may reach to our ears, but very few ones may reach to hearts. And it is difficult only for those that Allah Almighty making for them easy to reach. And you can't reach to people's hearts with anything except with sincerity. Through sincerity you may reach people's hearts and mankind just lost in our days mostly sincerity <coughs> to be sincere they forgotten it because material life and its pleasures, losing sincerity from mankind and making people materialists and to be without soul, without heart, And as long as people losing their sincerity, losing their hearts, and when they are losing their hearts, going to be like rocks without feeling. And Sincerity is most important key for opening to heaven 
and no one can reach to open heavenly stations without going to be sincere and taking sincerity as a key to reach to their stations on heavens. This Holy Ramadan helping mostly to servants to be sincere. And we have been offered an order for fasting through Holy Ramadan. And fasting is the key for reaching to sincerity. Here may be fasting people or no fasting people and who fasting it is not written on their foreheads fasting. It is something secret, hidden. And teaching fasting to be sincere for the Lord Almighty Allah. You may pray and people may see. You may do zikr People may hear, you may recite Holy Quran and people may hear it. You may do charities and people may see, may know. But silence, worshipping, fasting among you and your Lord Almighty Allah, He knows only what you are doing. Therefore, fasting is the most lovely worshipping to Allah Almighty and it is an order from Allah Almighty to everyone from mankind from the beginning up to day. First man and first Prophet Adam, peace be upon him, he had been ordered to fast and also he has been ordered to offer to his children for fasting because Fasting making servants to be more closer through their souls to the Lord Almighty Allah. And Allah Almighty was saying to Moses, is we are holding. One of the most important and greatest prophets, Moses, Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam, that granted by his Lord to hear his Lord's voice on the Mount of Sinai. Yes? And he had been invited to Mount Sinai for uh, hearing and listening 
his Lord's voice and through that listening divinely orders to the children of Israel. And he was hearing his Lord's divinely voice and addressing and between himself Almighty Allah and Moses there was seventy thousand of whales. And Allah Almighty saying when my servant fasting I am going to be closer to my servant, particularly when the time of breakfast coming closer, it is going to be only one meal. Getting in touch so nearly to divine presence, our souls so reaching closer to heavens. When we are getting fasting and coming to the time of breakfast, night time. Therefore, whom asking improvement, spiritual improvement. So many people, they are trying to reach heavens, to reach heavenly stations. But they are not taking any care for fasting. They think that any other method may be useful for them, but it is so far and so difficult to get in touch for heavenly stations without fasting. And for fasting also, it is important to be able to command on your physical body, to be able to use your willpower, and particularly you are looking for the time <laughs> to break out your fasting for eating and drinking. <laughs> and it is pleasure for your physical body and the pleasure of you are so to be not eating, not drinking. Because divinely presence <coughs> gives pleasure to your soul without eating and drinking. That is the Lord Almighty Allah's attribute divinely attribute not to eat, not to drink, not to be in need, drinking and eating. And you, if you are going to think on it, to drink and to eat gives pleasure to your physical body, but making it it's slave 
for drinking and eating. But when we are living to eat and drink, we are getting to be free. And free ones acceptable for divinely presence. Therefore, when Adam, he was in paradise, and he has been ordered not to come closer and eat from that tree. It was a tree that was making the servants of oh Lord to be slaves for eating and drinking. Therefore, it had been forbidden to approach and to eat from that tree. And others, once Adam and Eve permitted but only that tree, others was feeding Adam's soul, holy soul that Allah Almighty granted to him. Only that one was feeding his physical ego. Therefore it was forbidden when you and Adam just ate from that tree they became uh, slaves for that eating and drinking then Allah Almighty ordained to them to come down and then Allah Almighty ordering to them for fasting to make their souls free and fasting making souls free but our physical bodies, physical beings getting time for eating and drinking and the honor for mankind not to eat too much and to drink too much but to make it uh, small to make it a little bit and as long as we are taking less, taking more power for your soul. Fasting, feeding souls. Eating, feeding our physical beings. And whom they are feeding their souls getting a strong support from their souls for their physical beings. <coughs> Therefore Prophet was saying Sumu Tasihu that is a big wisdom that Prophet said, O oh people, you must try to fast because it is the means of being healthy. As long as you are 
fasting, you may reach to a healthy body and healthy life, healthful body, healthful life for you. Therefore, try to fast. Don't say that I can't fast. Everyone may fast. May fast. Even the small ones, the small ones, they may ask to fast, and they, Allah Almighty, giving them support to fast. Try to fast. Oh man, you should be happy, you should be healthy, because we are soul, should be happy and supporting you. If no support from your soul, your physical body quickly should come down. And that is the reason that prophets and <coughs> believers, saints and whole real believers, they are keeping fasting. They are trying to make their needs for eating and drinking down, small amounts, not too much. And their physical bodies going to be supported by their souls and they are not going to lose their physical powers up to end to their lives. And when your body taking perfect support from your soul, you should be a saint, a wali, and wali's bodies they are not going to be dust, not going to be destroyed <coughs> even through earth. They should, they should be as they bury even after thousands and after centuries. And the day of resurrection, whole people whom their bodies just destroyed and became dust, they should be in need to be for them a new body for their souls. But whom their bodies protected by the Lord Almighty Allah, they are coming with same structure, physical body that coming from this world and they should be well known because they are bodies getting from every part of their bodies light, light, nur, kanna. Do you think that a new gold, new uh, press, uh, print, uh, new uh, printed coin, 
goat, it is same as a antique printed goat? No. You may say Victorian coin. Now they may do same, but it is not same price. And whom they are keeping protected bodies through earth, whole prophets, whole saints, and whole real faith people, they should come with their bodies from this life and should be covered with divinely lights, lightning coming. And others coming with such a lightning through their thumb, thumb, Thumb. Thumb. Yeah. Thumb. This life is. <coughs> you may reach that station. You may be one of those people whom coming with their bodies from this life to the next life. But don't think that when you are entering to paradise that body should be final body, but that body should give for your new being more lights and it should be well known also in paradise those people shining as a sun and others like stars. And we are asking, we know that it is difficult because our egos fighting us and calling because it's pleasure through this life by eating and drinking. And therefore we are asking from our Lord Almighty Allah to help us so that we may be victorious on our egos our souls to be victorious forever. It is difficult, but when Allah Almighty helping to His servant, it is going to be easy. And single or uh, one condition only for divinely help to be humble and to ask, Oh my Lord, help me, support me, because I can't do. I can't fast if you are not helping me. Ask forgiveness and blessings from Allah Almighty. And it is an introduction also for Holy Ramadan's associations and we hope that it should be continued for whole Ramadan what we are in need may be sent, may be granted and we are asking forgiveness and saying Astaghfirullah 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 
in divine brothers, Sayyidina Muhammad teaching human nature, humanity, and from his teachings, and Allah Almighty teaching him and ordering to teach all mankind how they should be happy here and hereafter and forever. We are all servants to Allah Almighty and our ego preventing us to be servants to the Lord Almighty Allah and asking from you to be for his servant, to be his servant only, not to anyone else. And who is serving or going to be servant to his ego, finally he is going to be repentant and his way must end to hell. And who is going to be servant for the Lord Almighty Allah, he must end to paradise and to be settled in paradise forever. And we must fight against our egos. And that fighting continues always <coughs> through ourselves, our souls and our ego. And Allah Almighty ordering to His servants to fast because fasting making ego to be weaker and giving more power to our soul. And that is the reason that Allah Almighty just ordered from the first man up to day that mankind must fast. Fasting is a obligatory for whole mankind who they are asking for their happiness here and hereafter and keep fasting through this holy month and at the end of this holy month you should be victorious you should win the fight between yourself and your ego and should be your soul Sultan through your heart, not going to be your ego and shaitan, Sultan on you. Keep holy ones and Allah blessing you. Allah in the Afghan and Kalam wa Abdahan Nizam. Kalam Allah in Mayhi Aziz in Alam. Kamakan Allah in Kalam Kamakan in Kalam. فإذا بني القرآن فاستمعوا له وأنصتوا لعلكم ترحمون أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم هل جزاء الإحسان إلا الإحسان
كلبين سيدنا ابي القاسم محمد يا ايها المشتاقون نور جماله والمحتاجون شفاعته صلوا عليه صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى ال سيدنا محمد كما صليت على سيدنا ابراهيم وعلى ال سيدنا ابراهيم في العالمين انك حميد مجيد وبارك الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى ال سيدنا محمد كما بارك على سيدنا ابراهيم وعلى ال سيدنا ابراهيم في العالمين انك حميد مجيد Oh, <laughs> 